Now that you've seen how to create front-end forms with Toolset, let's see what happens when users start submitting these forms and what you can then do with the new content and its data. First, let's submit a few entries into this form on the Gyms and Trainers website. We'll submit it, and let's create a second one really fast. Great. As you see, each time we submitted the form, it created a trainer post. Now, on the home page, we want to show a list of selected trainers. With Toolset, we're going to use a view to do just that. There are more video tutorials about working with views that go into even greater detail. But here, I just want to show you an overview. Let's go to the page. Scroll down to where we want this to appear. We'll add a view. Give it a name. We don't need pagination here. We'll only load in personal trainers. And before we add our first block, let's go over to the right sidebar. I want there to be four columns. And limit the results to four items. OK, so now we'll add in our first block, a container block. For this site, I'm going to use a background that's very light gray. A heading block for our dynamic title. Next, we'll add a trainer image from the field here called Trainer Photo. I'll stop there, and let's take a look at it on the front end. Scrolling down, there it is. We can continue to add more fields, but this is an example of the start of the setup. Let's talk about content templates. If I click on one of these trainers, we go to a page with very little information. Actually, we see almost nothing from the form we submitted. Let's fix that. We'll go to Toolset, Dashboard, click Create New Template, and we'll just start adding in items that exist for this post type, and also exist on the form that creates this post. We'll add a grid. Add a dynamic image to the left side. Add a dynamic heading for the post title. A rating to the right. And let's add in some more options here. Okay, I'm going to stop there. You get the idea. Anything I put here will be what shows on the website whenever trainer posts are displayed. And, just like views, there are tutorial videos that you can watch that delve into content templates in greater detail. Next, let's look at archive pages. Archives are WordPress's way of showing all the posts within a post type. And again, there are more video tutorials about working with archives that go into greater detail. As you see here, similar to posts, by default the archive will only show WordPress's built-in fields. So we'll want to add our own custom ones. Let's go to Toolset Dashboard again and create an archive for personal trainers. Name it. And as we did for views and content templates, we'll just add in whatever fields we'd like to display for the archives. This can be anything you wish. So I'll just show this to you at fast speed since it's covering the same things we've already done. And keep in mind that there are detailed videos about working with archives in the toolset tutorials. Okay, so we put in a bunch of fields. Let's see how the archives look now on the front end. And there you go. Your users can input information on forms, and we just covered three ways to display your toolset fields using views, content templates, and archives.